A spiritual war is raging. I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean that very literally. And I don't say this lightly. For the last five months, something which has been going on for the last at least 200 years at a high level, <clears throat> as discussed in my book, Exposing the Expositions, and certainly something that's been going on higher or lower in one form or another for 10,000 years. A spiritual warfare is culminating right now. And it's culminating with the hypnosis of the human population. For the last 50 or 60 years, humans have been slowly more and more hypnotized more and more had their belief structures placed into very specific boxes, very specific things of which humans are supposed to think and believe. But the point we've reached now is beyond even hypnosis. It's more of a, it's more of a magic spell. A black magic spell is being perpetrated and sent out throughout the entire earth. If you wonder what it is, just turn on your television set, open your newspaper. What you're seeing is a magic spell. And the frightening thing is the majority of humans are falling for it. They are being charmed. They are being hypnotized to believe it. And what is the magic spell looking to obtain? Well, it doesn't take long to see what's going on in our current reality. To have all remaining freedoms which humans have to be taken away. To have all semblance of what you might call humanity, humanness, taken away. All the things that a native Indian or an Aboriginal or a Siberian shaman, or a Cathar, or a Gnostic, or any of the early traditions of the world would have held clear as, this is tree, this is bear, this is fish, this is human. The things that are human are being wiped away before our very eyes. Can you imagine that a majority of the world's population, mothers are afraid to hug their own children? Think of that. Never mind hug their next door neighbor, hug their friend, hug their children. They're afraid, they're terrified. I know some people who haven't, I know some parents who haven't allowed their children to visit them for months. All because they think, no, all because they believe the magic spell that's been placed on them. Again, I don't say this lightly. This is serious business. Well, serious within the dream business anyway. And it's going to be a very interesting, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to be interesting to watch what humans are going to choose. Are humans going to choose a path to regaining freedom, regaining and holding their humanness? Or are humans going to choose to believe the fear, to believe the terror, and to do whatever the saviors tell them? The real savior is within. The real savior is the gnosis, the Greek word for wisdom, the original foundation of all religions, inner knowing, Gnosis. Are you going to be a Gnostic? Break the magic spell? Look within to get an answer? Or are you going to believe what you're told to believe? Are you going to act the way you're told to act? Are you going to do what you're being told to do? Make no mistake, this is the next few months to the next few years if it gets that long, will determine perhaps the next thousand 
What are humans going to choose? Please recall that when the Catholic Church decided to kill off the Cathars and the Templar Knights because they actually killed them off at the same time. That's a historical lie that they were two different periods. But when they killed off the Cathars and the Knights Templar, both of those groups, very rigidly connected to nature, to gnosis, and to knowledge, chose to be burned at the stake rather than convert, which would save them, which would allow them to leave their fortresses and return to the world. I have great honor for the Cathars, great honor for the Knights Templar, that they chose death over giving in. They chose death over giving up not what's their belief, what's their gnosis. Their gnosis was more important. And they would choose death rather than living without it, rather than living as a non-human. What's going to be your choice? I'm, we're just talking about religion here. I'm really shocked when you think that the churches, temples, mosques, all of these things were closed worldwide, just shut down. Which is supposed to be the very thing that a person following the faith should have as their center point, as their place to go when they are confused, when they're frightened, to have a place of central, being, being centered, being balanced, being at least comforted. And all these things were closed. And what's amazing is the religious leaders who are supposed to be the ones who actually care for the flock, who care for the people, allowed them to be closed. I, again, as much respect as I have for the Cathars burning at the stake, I have the same respect for various pastors and priests around the world who allowed themselves to be arrested, opening up their church or opening up their mosque or opening up their temple. Think of that. A pastor or a priest was arrested for opening their church. Think about that. Really start thinking about what you're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis, what you're hearing on a day-to-day -day basis. Is it true? Is it inner gnosis? Is it a black magic spell being washed across you? I don't want to go into detail of the black magic spell, partially because highly likely this video would just be erased, removed, but there's lots out there. If you know where to look, you will find some very good people providing outstanding information on uh, various levels, from medical doctors to outstanding researchers, sharing where we really are where we've just been and where we're likely headed. Yes, a spiritual war is upon us. It's not the first spiritual war that's been fought here. Maybe it won't be the last, but it's the one we're in. We are actually in this battle right now. And pretty soon you're all going to have to start making decisions. What actually is important? Is it doing what you're told? Is it following your fear and doing anything possible to have a little bit more time? Or is it to live fully as a human, as best as you know, as best as you've known up to this point in your life, and just live that way for how many days you're allowed to live it? You live it. Not once giving in, not once going to the magic spell, not once letting the black magic change you? That's the question. And it's the question that I think a huge, a huge amount of the spiritual community will never even consider now. And that's why, I'm, that's why I'm sending this video out. That's why I'm doing this. Are you going to finally stand up or are you going to hide behind your Tibetan singing bowls and your crystals? Are you going to hide behind your positive vibes and your mantras? Or are you going to take a real solid look at reality 
a real solid look at the at the parasitic nature of this reality you know and are you going to follow your inner gnosis are you going to follow what the deepest part of your humanness tells you to do or are you going to follow your fear the end result of all this will be what is the majority of the seven billion going to choose we'll see won't we